still not 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. At least two dozen birds there, hooded vultures, white-backed vultures. Uh, and, well, the sound of dogs at the lodge got them flying. I can't imagine that there was that much for all of these vultures, but that little bit of what was left, a bit of meat on some of the bones, still the articulated vertebrae, uh, still stuff on the skull, it was still bits of skin, no doubt, enough for this many vultures to have landed. They weren't really feeding much. A lot of them were just standing around. It. Marianne in Arkansas. Hello. Yes. Well, the meat's been licked off of these bones here. Yeah. This is the two shoulder blades. This is where the kill was, right here next to the road. Uh, how close to camp? Well, we can hear Mike and Candace's dog barking. A hundred meters in a straight line between my bedroom and this kill. I'd say a hundred yards, roughly, between our camp and... Where our camp is, I'd say we... Uh, and Mike and Candace's house are the closest to the kill. The camp is still a little bit further to the east because we're on the western side of the camp. Okay, now let's just see how much more they've cleaned up the rest of the bones and then we'll leave them to it. I'm sure that male and female have gone deeper into shade somewhere. Oh yes, much cleaner. There's still a lot of meat on on the bottom of the legs, but that's because I don't think they can quite get to through the skin. Maybe the leopard-faced vultures can, but things like hooded vultures have got a very, very rough tongue to be able to actually lick meat off of bones. So that everything is a lot cleaner than it was earlier. The skull has been dragged around a little bit with the entire cervical and part of the lumbar vertebra. It's not often that we find the remains of a kill of an animal that we actually got to know quite well and an animal that was part of our drives for so long especially since she was the second wildebeest to give birth live on camera. And uh, it's rather sad, I guess, in a way, but it's also rather weird that this is what's left of her. Interesting. Okay, so where are... Two of them. These two cats. Hello, James. James is referring to, evidently there was an article somewhere about 14 poachers being arrested. No, James, I haven't heard anything about that. Is it normal? No. no the last I heard there were four poachers arrested a few days ago. But normal? Hmm. Not enough of normal. There should be a lot more poachers arrested. This is far too much poaching going on. I wonder where these two lines have gone. I'm trying to find, trying to look at some of the shady areas here where there's shade. The fact that these vultures are able to come down 
And the do you mean these cats have possibly moved on? But my guess is they would probably be closer to the dam.